I can not get attacked. Let's see how life has progressed for our baby birds. Hey right, guys. Let's see what's up under that. You can see the bird parents over there. Eyeballing me. One there. One right there. Hey right, guys, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything besides the Skyrim special edition remaster, whatever it's called. That I'm actually excited about from E3. Like, currently we have a name for the Zelda game. Breath of the Wild. But I'm not a Zelda fan, so it's nothing to me. Final Fantasy XII is like the least remastered Final Fantasy I would ever want. I hated XII. Um, it's just going off their front page. I know I've heard other stuff. Injustice 2, I've never really gotten to the first one. Titanfall 2, it's a Microsoft thing. Final Fantasy 15, like, like I said, I don't know, Final Fantasy has kind of fallen off, in my opinion, ever since 12. Well, 11 doesn't count, I'd, I'd say ever since 12, it's really fallen off. Once you take away, you know, regular RPG battles, it doesn't sit well with me. Hmm. Zelda Breath of the Wild on Wii U and NX will be the same. It looks like there will be no major differences, or no major changes between the two versions of the game. I'm assuming the graphics on the NX would have to be a little bit better. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too in-depth on E3, because like I said, I'm not too into it. I'm more into retro games than new games coming out. So, let me know in the comments below if there's anything from E3 that you're particularly looking forward to. Alright guys, I barely fucking vlogged. Have we even started the vlog? We must have. We got some boxes. Uh, it's Thursday now. I got, yeah, I definitely vlogged. I'm scatterbrained today. Get out of work. I'm gonna be heading to Dungeons and Dragons tonight, or maybe Munchkin, depending on attendance. Um, this weekend is an interesting one. Alicia is going away with her friend on a little mini weekend vacation to Pennsylvania. I am hopefully, I say hopefully because uh, you know, plans fall through, you know, whatever. I'm hopefully on Friday going to a trade event with Sam and hopefully on Saturday going to the, uh, the Stormville Flea Market Tag Sale Weekend, which is going to be a daunting task because normally Alicia and I have to basically split up and each take a row. That's how long it is, that, or that's how big it is, and it usually takes us like three hours to get through it once. So hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing falls through on us. Um, Yesterday I got so much work done. I'm basically to the point where I'm all the way caught up on everything except for, well, the weekly vlog. It's the next thing I have to edit. Um, it's nice. I can't complain about that. Being ahead on work for once. Uh, hopefully I can stay ahead on work. I've got everything I need to list up on eBay. Listed. My room is looking clean. Life is good. <laughs> Up until yesterday, there was barely any floor space in my already small room because we had stuff from previous weekends building up. The 3DO that, well, I don't know when you guys saw the episode, but I got that 3DO like over a month ago. Finally got that up off the floor uh, and put away. Unfortunately, I don't have the room to have it hooked up constantly. Which is one of the big reasons why I would really like to eventually move out and get our own place, but that will be after, uh, you know, we get married most likely. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm giving spoilers for the rest of my life on the vlog. She doesn't watch the vlog, so I guess it's okay. She already knows I'm saving up for a ring. I don't know if I've formally said that to you guys, but that's what I'm doing right now. 
Saving up for a ring. And low key, if you guys have like some pretty baller ass ways to propose to somebody or ideas, hit me up in the comments below because she's always like showing me these nerdy ways people propose, like people proposing with Mario Maker, which like that'd be too fucking obvious. We never play Mario Maker. Also, my creative skills are pretty bad. Uh, there we go. Finally merged. But yeah, if you have any ideas as far as that goes, let me know in the comments below. It's not happening anytime soon. I'm broke, but I'm saving up. Yeah, another bird update. How many we still got in there? Uh, I can't quite see, but yeah. Lost the parent birds for the second, but they're somewhere around here. My cats haven't gotten to them yet. That's good. Look at that. Big real fast. Okay, guys, I figure it makes sense to go over my Money in the Bank predictions, seeing as this will post Sunday morning. So it'll actually be before the pay per view for once. Um, I'm only going to comment on these four matches here. Um, first up, we have the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match featuring the New Day, Enzo and Cast, which is Alicia's favorite by far, uh, the Club, and the Vaudevillains. I feel like... I feel like you go with New Day again. Uh, or the club. I personally would keep the belts on the New Day for quite some time. They are hot as can be right now. And taking the tag belts away from them doesn't really help that. Well, it doesn't hurt them either. But these other three teams, like, do they deserve it yet? They're relatively new. I, I would just keep the belts on the New Day. As for the supposed dream match... John Cena versus AJ Styles. We all know John Cena is going to win unless the club interferes. What are the... I mean, Kevin Owens did beat him one-on-one. -on -one, so it's possible he could job for AJ Styles. It's just unlikely. Or at the very least, this would be... like Regardless of what happens here, I can only see this happening at the next three pay-per-views again. I don't see them having a one-and-done match. It's going to be like a best of three series. We're probably in this for the long haul. But like I said, it's most likely going to be John Cena. I'd say give it to AJ. So. But realistically speaking, John Cena is going to win. And who would I put the money in the bank contract with? Kevin Owens. I mean... wearing a Kevin Owens shirt, so you know who who has my vote. But any of these guys other than Alberto or Jericho? Oh, or Sammy. Sammy is too new. Basically, if you give it to Sammy, I can almost guarantee he's going to be the third person to fail at cashing in. That's just how I feel. I Actually, I feel like Dean might be the way they're going. Because I can see them building to a shield three-way. Or having Dean in interject himself into the main event. Which brings us to the main event. Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. Seth's got my vote here. I feel like the way WWE is pushing Roman Reigns though. it's almost no chance of him dropping the belt before SummerSlam. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey guys, uh, it's now Friday, it's time to wrap the vlog. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting old. I legit cannot remember pretty much anything I've talked about in this vlog to recap. Uh, I know I talked about Money in the Bank, that's all I remember. Um, let me know if I asked you any questions, let me know what your answers are in the comments below. Uh, it's been a week, it's been a week. Today was actually a good day though. And I have a pretty cool weekend ahead of me. Tonight I'm going to a trade event where I hopefully don't spend all my too many games money. Then tomorrow 
unless it falls through. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before. Heading to the Stormville tag sale flea market thing going on. And then someday it looks like it'll actually have good weather for once. And of course, Sunday night, money in the bank. So, like this video? If you liked it, you know, casual. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.